<laughs> well, welcome back to Life Journey Production Studios. My name is Keith, and I'm very excited. It's June 15th, and it's Tuesday. I'll be live at 4 o'clock today, but I wanted to record this quick video and let you know that version 1.06 is out on MixFX app. Thank you, Adam Tao. And why am I excited? Because it now features the HyperDeck. That's right. If you shift over here into go into my super source layouts, I'll change box two to my camera three, which is my um, software for a mix effect. And now if I click over here, you have the HyperDeck function. So we're gonna do a complete breakdown of this very soon here on the channel, but I hope that you will take a look at mix effects. You can get a 30 day free trial. This is not sponsored. I'm just really excited that Adam Tao has added the HyperDeck to mix effect. And I can actually go back into super source here and you can see me do it and I can choose a different layout. So let's just say we scroll over here, uh, something with like that, that's great. And so now you can see my multi view and um, you can also see the mix effect app let me just open the HyperDeck up again, and you can add this to the main layout. I'm just using the menu screen on the left-hand side. And now I can go into my Warp Me In, which you're gonna see tonight in my live stream, or you can check out the June 15th live stream if you're watching this later. And I can hit play, and you can see my Warp Effect playing right here in this lower section in the monitor on the multi-view, um, even though it's kind of out of frame. So I can choose between that um, and um, change clips. So we're gonna go back to the other multi-view. Let's just switch right here in my macro and we'll change box two back to camera three. So now you have the app back up again. So if I go into the HyperDeck settings, I can change disc right now. That's a great function. I have a record menu up on the top so I can switch over to record. You can see it's sitting time code. If I hit record once, that's gonna open up the input to whatever I have coming into the back of my HyperDeck. So if you have a camera plugged in, which I normally do when I'm doing a live event, I have my iPad or my iPhone plugged in using um, uh, Filmic Pro as an app so I can use my phone as a camera and use it as a mobile camera here in the studio. But right now I have my iPad plugged into channel three in my ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. And so I can't show you how record button once would open up the input and hit record again and you start recording. So we'll switch back to play and there I can choose any one of my clips. I can cue them. I can also loop them. I can loop all the clips just like you can in control software. And then I can go back to no loop mode at all. I can go forward to the clips. Um, I can hit play. I can go to my warp video. I can actually scrub my warp video forward and back with my finger, which you can see I'm doing right now. And I can also click into the pause mode and I can go forward and back just with the bar. And that goes just for fine cueing. So, um, I can sc scroll quickly forward or I can go quickly back and re-cue that. So if I hit play, it's playing. If I hit stop and go back, it's gonna go to the last clip that I've selected and, uh, and go forward until I see the warp clip again. And I can hit play and I can loop it. And now it's gonna loop indefinitely. So again, I'm excited that Adam has released 1.06 on the App Store. So you should check that out. I know that if you have a HyperDeck, this is gonna add more mobility. Um, there are other apps out there that you can control mix or control your um, HyperDeck as well as control your software by Blackmagic Design. I just like what I'm seeing and the relationship that I have been able to develop with Adam Tao and even letting me test um, this new version and help him find and discover bugs. So again, Check it out, it's free for 30 days on the App Store. This is not sponsored by Mix Effect. This is just something that I really like and I'm sharing here on my channel. The HyperDeck is important to what I do in the studio. Um, and now you have the ability to control the HyperDeck inside Mix Effect. So until the next video, I am Keith and we'll see you then.